There was some mapping exercise that was, uh, that was conducted between the gender achievement caps and the Piona data. And uh, we noted that it presented the same, uh, the similar factors uh, reporting areas of concerns and also uh, noting similar recommendations as well. Um, and also the ECE policy is now under review. Um, according to the Piona data, it shows that uh, those students who went to preschool before, they, they reflected a very good uh, results in their performance uh, overall compared to those who did not uh, attend it easy. So right now our ECE policy is under review. Um, just a few months uh, ago, there, were some, uh, there was an intervention was done this year for 10 districts in Samoa. Uh, we call it the National District uh, Awareness. It was conducted by our core management of our ministry. Uh, what they actually did, uh, they presented the national results to those uh, specific schools that we, we pointed out. Uh, they have very poor performance in our national exams and we went out to gather information. We hear what the community uh, believes are the major, some of the major, con major concerns uh, that, we, that they believe that may be com contributing to the poor performance of their kids from their districts. And also a proposal was given to our CEO. This is not yet uh, uh, approved for considerations of a national policy for all schools, uh, including government schools, mission schools, and also um, private schools to at least have a compulsory uh, reading period uh, every day. But the digital report that we got, uh, I found it very helpful and uh, easier to follow as well uh, compared to the uh, previous uh, practice that was uh, printed out for us.